Tupac showed up, uh, it was for Rolling Stone, first of all, and I think he was honored to be photographed by Rolling Stone at that time. You know, for any hip hop artist, really, even to be recognized by Rolling Stone was cool. And he came and he was very, very, um, um, he, was, he was into it. And he showed up with one guy, and it was he and this other guy, and he came in and he was like, you know, let's get down to business. Uh, let, you know, uh, he was very photogenic. He took direction really well. And um, at one point, he said, um, you know, I bought some other clothes and stuff. Maybe we could change so we could, you know, change up the look a little bit. I said, sure. And then he took off his shirt, and I saw all the tattoos. And I said, man, I'd like to shoot one without, without the shirt on. And he was like, yeah, sure. And so that's what we did. And, uh, and he was, like I said, he was, he was really into it. And when I shot it, I remember, um, I, I remember getting that assignment. I was excited for, to shoot for Rolling Stone as well. And I, I thought to myself um, how, much it would be, how cool it would be if I had a cover for Rolling Stone. And that I shot it, I was at the time shooting a lot of very simple portraits with my four by five camera because I had shot so much loose and quick and spontaneous things that I wanted to kind of slow it down a little bit. And so I shot those with uh, the four by five. And, um, and then st strangely enough, they ran like a quarter page for the you know, in the magazine uh, for that article. And then when he passed away, they ran it on the cover. 